Okay, guys. So, good old Colton, young cousin bug. Jeffro, young bug, mm -hmm. and Pops and I decided that we wanted to put in our opinions and ideas of this fight. I know it's like kind of a big uh, argument whether it's stopped, whether it was too early, or whatever. But we want to watch it. We're going to watch the knockout here, and we're going to give our opinions. So what do you guys, you guys got anything else to say about uh, this at all? One thing I do want to add is, like, I don't, if you guys ever looked at our actual channel description, you'll see that I have the link to, we have another channel where we actually, like, box and yep. uh, fight, and uh, Zippy the Canoe, the guy right here, there. he actually fought today in an MMA match, That's so we got him on here to comment on this as well, and uh, he had a pretty good match, so if you want to go over and check that out, feel free, yep. check out the fight. And uh, so we're all white fans, though, is basically the point. So. Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. Big time. So, you guys ready to hop right in? Let's go. Yep. Yeah. Let's go and get in. Ah! Oh. And that's it. You say that's me. it. Oh. We'll leave it right there on, on Sean's back. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Which one of you would like to start? Okay. I'll, I just want to say, I'm, I'm a Sean O'Malley fan. <laughs> like, I've been watching him since he was on the Contender Series. Um... You know, when he, <laughs> one of my favorite moments in UFC period is watching him beat this dude while Uriah Faber and Snoop Dogg are sitting there just, oh, Mally! They call him Lil oh, Dicky. Mally! Yeah, like, and uh, where Snoop Dogg was talking about take the booty position. Yeah, right? that was so good. <laughs> so I've been a Sean O'Malley fan for a long time. Um, Aljo, I think Aljo gets a lot of flack for how he won the belt in the first place because. Peter Yan, who really isn't a dirty fighter typically, Aljo was on one knee and he got him, caught him with the knee, and that was an illegal strike because Aljo was down, and they say you can't hit somebody when their knees are down on the mat. So he lost that fight, and Aljo got the belt. And ever since then, every time Aljo fights somebody, they come up with the reason that he's not a legit champion. So I like Aljo because despite that, he's. He's fought who he's fought. He's won every fight except until O'Malley. Yeah. And a lot of times you see in these fights, these guys will sit there and just run each other down and run each other down. Like, they're still talking about how they're going to beat each other. Like, they're going to they're gonna beat each other up. This is fights. But both of them had respect for each other. They didn't, like, go personal. And Aljo, unlike Colby Covington, when he gets beat, this dude's still running his mouth. This dude gave Sean O'Malley all the props in the world. But he wanted the rematch. So, mm -hmm. I thought this was a great fight. I mean, the first round was not really much. Mm -hmm. I think the biggest thing for me is Sean O'Malley didn't even get his train for how he was going to deal with takedowns for six weeks because he had a cracked rib. Mm -hmm. But, if you watch in the first round, this dude's going side to side the whole time. Like, he is preparing to not allow him to have that. And they even talked about how he was waiting for his moment because you can say what you want about Sean O'Malley, but he's got those hands. You give oh, him yeah. one shot and it's over. And literally what happens? All Joe extends, perfect, mm -hmm. right Don't. hand, bam. He's so fast and long. It's yeah. just And my thing is, is like I disagree if anybody says it should have stopped after the first one because it was a, it was a nice hit, but All Joe wasn't out yet. Like, yeah, you got to keep the fight oh, going. I don't, I don't think anyone was saying that it was stopped too. Uh, like, oh yes, yeah. they are. I've seen a lot of people saying yeah. that the fight yeah, stopped too early. That's a big early. controversy right now. Oh, there fight. are people all stopped over the place. Stopped too early, but not too late though. You're saying that people are saying that as soon as you land the first. No, one, no, that, that no, that shouldn't no. have called it at all. I don't. I think until he gets to the point where he's rolling over and he's still getting the punches, I think you had a legit reason to keep the fight going. But everyone knows when you get to that position and you're still hitting them. They're going to call that to them. Yeah. yeah. They're going yeah. to. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. By the way they do that, that's how they do it. So, for me, yeah. I think that was the perfect time to call the fight. I've mm -hmm. seen fights where I felt like they let it go too long, and I've seen fights where they feel like yeah, I mean, they, they didn't let it go on long enough. But that one, I think that was a good call. I, I yeah. do, too. I mean, he was on cruise street. I mean, no doubt about it. And like, I mean, like, so he was trying to survive, and he is a wrestler, so you could say that like, maybe he could, you know, he did like an ankle pick from down there. Maybe, you know, I mean, you could sit and argue that, you know, that stuff you know, back and forth all day, but he was definitely hurt, and, uh, like, you know, 
we're kind of in the age of kind of protecting the fighters we know about CTE now. He yeah. already ate the punch. He already ate a few after it. Yeah. And, like, I think it was just going to get worse for him. So I, I think the stoppage is right, well, on, right on point. And after even the first couple shots, Aljo is still spinning. Like, he's still yeah. got his guard yeah. up. Yeah. Like, he's doing a good job of protecting himself, so there's no reason to stop it. But once he hits that nasty shot right before he turns over, I think that was the end. Yeah, yeah. So what do you guys got to say? But See, the only reason why I feel like it should have been stopped just a tiny bit sooner was because, I mean, yeah, he was blocking them, but he wasn't returning any. I feel like after a couple unanswered ones, you know. I feel I feel like, though, in this particular case, you got to remember that this is a championship fight. Yeah, that's if this, true. If this was, like, at your local, yeah. you know, whatever show or whatever, yeah, I would probably agree. Or maybe even, like, a lower tier guy. Yeah. But maybe. this is to change it. Yeah, this this is, like, true. an actual champion. You know, you got to give that champion a, a chance. So yeah. there's no... Like, you know, there's basically no doubt. Like, he, yeah. does, he doesn't need to be, you know, dead laying on the floor. But, like, you need to, like, he needs to understand, like, I'm talking, even, like, him himself he needs to understand and the people need to understand, like, yeah, he really, truly got whooped. He wasn't going to come back. Nope. Now, there might be some people out there that are Aljo fans that would be like, well, he's still, I mean, we could argue that back back and forth. Oh, yeah, but, like, I, I think he help. was, yeah, I think yeah, he, no. was, he, he was, was whooped. Dead. He was, that was it. It was he only was gonna definitely going to lose. Regardless. Well, and. I think everyone thought it was only a matter of time once he went down from the yeah, initial strike. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because Sean's really good at, like, he stood up most of the time, but he has that long reach, yeah. so he's going to get those punches in. Oh, yeah. And, and this is early in the round. Yeah. If there, if there was, like, 20 seconds left in the round, you might They'll be They'll probably say, well, let it know. go. Yeah. yeah. But this was early, and he ate two nasty shots. Yeah. The initial strike, and then that last one right before he turns over. Yeah. And went prone. Oh, yeah. Those and, two shots, I mean... I, I get what you're saying because he wasn't returning strikes. Yeah. But when you're talking about a knockout, you're talking about somebody who literally has been to the point where they can't function at a normal mm-hmm. level. Yeah. And he was still in his guard at that yeah. point. Yeah. And he ate a couple shots, but they weren't anything that were stopping him from his guard. But when he got that last shot in, he rolls over it and then he gets a couple more. Yeah. It was clear it was done. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I get what you're saying. Yeah, Some people, yeah. And that's not a terrible point. I think... It depends on where you view what a knockout is. Yeah. Because some people on the internet are like, well, that first shot, he should have been done. No, that first shot, no. Listen, if you've watched enough UFC, guys eat yeah. some punches sometimes. Yeah. 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 And they'll come back. Yeah. They'll come back. So what about you, Young Lion? We've all uh, talked. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I completely agree. I think the fight was stopped at the correct time. I do, too. Um, I don't think it should have ended after the first punch. They're absolutely stupid if you're thinking that. Mm-hmm. Um. I, I mean, yeah, Colton has a good point as far as maybe a little earlier, but like Pop said, championship fight. You got to give these guys their time to shine, and obviously he was the champ, so he had to, you know, you have to give him an extra minute yeah, yeah. To, to see if he could do it. And then like Uncle Jeffro here said, um, he took that last, last shot, rolled over, and he had a few more. As soon as that last shot landed, that, that he should. Have I mean, yeah, and it, obviously it was he was probably coming over. Yeah. In that in that moment, but nonetheless, well, you even was, heard all of us. Even though we've all seen the fight before, we still were like, oh, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. That it's last one of those shot, every time I see it, it's just. Yeah. No, it was. I think. Notion. And um, I personally love that that full counter right there. Mm-hmm. That is so clean yeah. and smooth. Sean O'Malley is 100% a monster. And oh, yeah. I've, I've been a Sean O'Malley fan for years. A lot of people don't like him because of the colorful hair and the yeah. tattoos and all that. But you can say what you want to say, pound for pound, one of the best strikers in the game. Oh, yeah. Like, he's got one of those, like, you give him one shot and he has the knockout ability yeah. to yeah. immediately end a fight. I mean, yeah. if you go back and look through some of the clips, I mean, there's one punch sometimes and it's over. Mm-hmm. That's all he, all he has. And I feel like it's both hands, too. Yeah. Now, and so that's, you, that's pretty impressive. You guys, as far as I know, for people watching, like, you guys are all three Sean O'Malley fans. Yeah, so, yeah. And I'm not a big Sean O'Malley fan. Yeah. So, uh, what what appeals to you about Sean O'Malley? Is it actually his actual fighting or his whole the whole gimmick thing, his whole personality, you know, and shit? You know, what, what, what appeals to Sean O'Malley to you guys? For me, number one, like, I wouldn't be a fan of him if he wasn't good at what he did. Yeah. And then you can, again, say what you want to say. When you're talking about the guys with the capability to change the whole fight with one punch, Sean O'Malley should be right there at your tops. And I don't, if you don't like him for anything else, 
that's fine. Everyone has their preferences. But if you're literally a fight fan, look what he did to Aljo. Oh, yeah. Aljo is not somebody who gets knocked out a lot. Mm-mm. And he made him beat the brakes off of him yeah. for 20 seconds. Yeah. You know, the care and stuff, like, I like people who express themselves. I think it's a generational thing again. Mm-hmm. Like, some people like more conventional fighters who are going in there saying what they got to say, not really like the colorful stuff, the tattoos, the, you know, run in your mouth a lot. Because Sean O'Malley's mm-hmm. a trash talker. Yeah. I mean, really, if you're in UFC, you're going to trash talk. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But despite all the trash talking, I said this earlier, Sean is not like a Colby Covington or a Conor McGregor where they're just talking nonstop. Yeah. They can't even be humble enough to be like, I got beat, I got exposed. Now they're still running their mouths, talking about people's wives and kids and like just off the wall stuff that if we're talking real life, you're actually going to get beat down. Like this ain't a UFC fight. Yeah. yeah. Well, Colby Covington got jumped. <laughs> By Masvidal, allegedly. <laughs> but she would have done more than that. Right. Uh, so that's my take. I like Sean O'Malley, but it mostly is his fighting. Yeah. And how, like... See, I think, like, what you said, I think you know that we're off the bat when you said it was a generational thing. Because, like, I'm almost 50. You guys are all younger. Yeah. I'm not super into this dude, and you guys all are. And I do think age... Like, I've been watching fights since before you guys were even, like, born. Um, real quick... The part of the reason why I'm into fights is because he'll. We used to watch the early yeah. UFC fights yeah, yeah. before you guys were sparring. Man. I used to spar with him when I wrestled all the time. Yeah, yeah. Didn't I? Yeah. So. So. We've always been into all, yeah. all this for forever. Yeah. Um. So, but yeah, you guys. What, yeah, what do you guys think the feel for Sean? So when I first got into UFC, it was right around like 2015, 2016. You know, right around like prime Conor McGregor oh, stuff. Yeah, yeah. So. Right, you know, right, right. I was so used to just watching Conor McGregor, you know, his his striking and stuff. and That was towards the end of Silva, yeah, too, where Silva yeah. was starting to decline a little mm-hmm. bit. Yeah. And I feel like Sean O'Malley, while he is his own thing, I feel like he is the... He's almost like the new Conor McGregor in the fact that his, he's yeah. good, he's, he's beating the guys, you know, he's beating the best in his weight class, mm-hmm. and... Uh, you know, he's just so fast and like mm-hmm. he's unpredictable because you don't know if he's gonna throw a spinning leg kick or if he's gonna mm-hmm. throw a right hand or or if he's just gonna you know faint and like fake you out. Like you, there's like when you watch a Sean O'Malley fight, at least for me, I'm always on the edge of my seat because I mm-hmm. don't know what is going yeah. to happen next. And like I said, one punch. Yeah. And I think that you you actually said something that kind of fits because you call you were mentioning Connor. Yeah. And there's a lot of people that will say that Sean O'Malley is a Dana White guy. Where mm. they I feel have like if this, you're a good fighter, you're gonna be a Dana White guy regardless. Well, what I'm saying is is they call it the Dana White privilege. Where mm-hmm. like Connor got heavy pushes and it almost seemed like sometimes he got away with stuff that other guys didn't because yeah, he's like the, the big Habib draw situation yeah, and all that. Yeah, like yeah, the sure, whole thing with sure. the tour bus. Yeah, sure. And people say that Sean got a chance too quickly because there are people who still believe that the Yon O'Malley fight, that Yon won. So and I feel I, like that could have gone either way. I, it was close for me, but if you're looking at the actual scores from what I saw, do you value strikes more or do you value takedowns more? Because the way I always talked it was like true strikes mean more than a takedown. Yeah. Because you're actually doing damage to their body yeah. where a takedown, yeah. you're key. I mean, takedown so, gives you points. It would depend. Yeah. It would depend. Like when you take someone down, do you do anything with it? You yeah. can't give someone a bunch of credit or points exactly. if they just take a guy down. Or if they're you stalling have, in its arm position. Yeah, the whole yeah. Time. you can't That's lay on it. Like if you're, if you're working to a better position or you're inflicting damage, that's different. Yeah, if you're like, body you're shotting, playing. you're throwing elbows. Yeah, like, we went through that whole stage where, like, these wrestlers, they just want to take, you know, the whole, everyone knows that lay and pray. So they yep. just take a guy down, they're laying on him like a wet blanket. Yep. Yeah. And it's like, no, man, that ain't that ain't fighting. Like, if you're actually, you, the whole point of taking him down is so that you can hurt him. So if you can't yeah. hurt him, you just lay there. You, either you don't, you don't get any points. Yeah, you don't get points for just laying on a guy. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm not, I'm not, let me start out by saying that I'm not one of those people that watches, like, every single press interview or anything like that. I mainly judge a fighter strictly off them fighting. Which and, is fair. Um, yeah, that'd be a good as, as pretty much everybody here has already stated, dude's, dude's a powerhouse. He's a mitochondria. Um, <laughs> he's <laughs> scientific with dude, dude gets out there and he's like... He's like the missing link. <laughs> dude, do you want the smoke? Because here it is. And like I said earlier, dude can do it with both hands. Yeah, He's not just... 
oh, watch out for his right. No, it's both. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and those legs, and he's got, man. He's oh, got yeah. whips for legs. Yeah. We've like, seen a couple times where if a dude hadn't ducked that kick, he would have did Leon Edwards to Kamaru style. Yeah. Where like, Leon Edwards caught him with that leg kick, and it was all she wrote. Yeah. Right. So, I mean, that's that's mainly what I want to throw in is that I don't really watch the press interview. I know he's kind of like a, more of a cocky guy like McGregor. I understand that. Yeah. But I, I like him for his fighting. That is why I like him. Fair. Uh, I mean, for me, like, I'm not super in, which in the age we're in now, and of course I'm an, I'm an old dude, so it would only make sense that I'm not super in, too. I'm not in, I didn't like Conor McGregor from the get-go. Everyone, I used to work with dudes, and they all like Conor McGregor. A lot of it also has to do with, like, color. Like, he's a white dude, so, and he's good, so, you know, if, you know, white, like, like a Don King in boxing used to say, white equals green, you know what I mean? If you got, like, a white dude that's good, you know, it, they tend to you know, do good pay-per-views, you know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, so Connor, he, he definitely did have an easier path to get there, but he still had to beat the guys that were in front of him, so you got to give him some... That fighting, I mean, yeah, there was oh, no yeah. doubt. Yeah, I actually thought oh, that was yeah. going to be a good fight. So. Yeah. I actually thought the Eddie Averill's fight was going to yeah. be a good fight. So, and in uh, my opinion, Aldo's the bantamweight go. And I agree. I agree. McGregor to beat him. He just had most of his career that wasn't in UFC. Yeah. Most people don't know that. I think for mm-hmm. UFC, you're going to have to honestly argue... Aljo. Yeah, right Aljo and Aldo, yeah. 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 So, but, like, I, if, it, the point I was getting at, though, I'm not, like, I don't, even though we're in this age now, I'm just not into, like, gimmick-type dudes. I'm not into, like, like McGregor, no doubt some of that is his personality, but he, it's all, like, fake stuff. If you really are, like, crazy, or you really do, like, talking shit, and that's, like, your personality, like, you could go back a lot of these dudes and try and take the blueprint from... Uh, Muhammad Ali, who took his blueprint from Jack Johnson back in the early 1900s. That's her. Uh, but you got to understand that, like Jack Johnson, really was that guy. And yeah, Ali was real. not the guy. Ali was going to run his mouth and out Jack, of the ring. Yes, and Ali, they said like he was he was talking shit before he was Ali when he was Cassius Clay. He was still that's the way he was. But now you got guys, and they you can, you got I guess you got to give them credit to a certain extent because. That you know, it gets their name out there. They make money. This that, and the other. I'm just not a fan of a lot of fake stuff if it isn't really you. Like you look at like the Diaz brothers. A lot of them latched on those guys, but they're at least Nick. I I think Nate's a little bit more fake, but Nick that he really is that guy. Like he he really will fight you in the street or whatever. What he really is, he's got like he's like mildly autistic. I think like he's very socially awkward. Yeah, but he really is that guy. Like that really is him. I think Nate has eaten way too many punches. <laughs> that yeah. dude, I, I think, yeah, I think if anybody, you could say he's he's been punched so much that he can't like even yeah. Yeah. talk anymore. Yeah, yeah. he's only thirty eight. But nine. Nick has Nick is one of the goats that never really got to prove what they were in the UFC as much. But yeah. in other organizations, Nick Diaz was the guy. Oh, yeah. yeah, he was definitely oh, yeah. he was definitely like a fighter's fighter. I like fighters. Well, like, and, uh, I agree. I feel it, like the Diaz brothers are like relatively like complete fighters because you know they got yes. they got the stand up, they got yeah, the they ground got. game. Nick, and, Nick's, Nick's better than Nate. In my yeah, oh, here's yeah. the thing: hundred percent all around. Yes, but Nate. The thing that people, the reason why people like Nate is because Nate is a guy that can take punishment mm-hmm. just over and over. But as the fights go on, if he can get past the first couple rounds without being submitted, because Nate's only been, you can say what you want about him, he's only been truly knocked out one time in his whole career. And as much punishment as he's taken, <laughs> yeah. that's yeah. crazy. Yeah. yeah, And he's one of those guys, once he gets to later rounds, it's like he's got the, the fountain guy, of youth yeah. or something. Yeah. He's like well, ready to go and gets tired <laughs> out. Well, it's, it's the same way I tell young line when we're training – you know, I was like, don't go out there with your. I mean, sparring's different; it's practicing. But like, if you're boxing someone, don't go out there and throw 100 percent all the time. You take a little off. Like sometimes you're throwing 50 percent jab, sometimes it's 75 percent. Everything I said because the whole, you know, then when you see that opening, you download what this guy's doing. Mm-hmm. Then you throw that 100 percent. If yeah. you go 100 percent all the time, you're gonna burn yourself up and you're gonna be done. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, there's there's a there's a way you got to do that, and that's the way that when the Diaz brothers go out there and fight. They're popping those little jabs and all this, and they're doing mm-hmm. little, little pity pat stuff. But that wears the dude out, and they're not getting tired because it's just pity pat. They're just pity pat. They trade with Gracie. Gracie teaches them the crazy oh, the submission yeah, yeah. moves, right, right, yeah. right. and that's a thing. I mean, how did Nate get Connor? He caught yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. caught him. Right. And mm-hmm. I think but after he wore him out. Yeah. He wore him out. And you, you know, you brought up Ali, the rope a dope strategy. Yeah. You literally let them tire themselves out, and then you just come in the later rounds and just mm-hmm. whoop. My thing with Connor. Because we're going back to what you said. 
My issue with Connor isn't so much the stuff in the octagon. Because I'm sorry, some of the stuff that dude said has been gold. Like, you know, when he was like, I apologize for yeah. absolutely nothing. Yeah. Like, that's entertaining. Yeah. But it's the out-of-the-ring stuff that I'm not a fan of. Like, the Khabib situation, yeah. the multiple assault allegations on yeah. women. Like, I don't get down with that. Him punching like, an old man because he yeah, didn't like his whiskey. Yeah, exactly. Gonna, that old man didn't give two fucks. Okay. <laughs> but, anyway, but let's get back on track. Let's yeah. get back on track. Sh- anyway, the reason why I don't... The reason why I don't like Sean... This is why we got off track, because he brought up... Yeah, but <laughs> yeah. the, reason why, the reason why I don't like Sean that well is I feel like, you know, okay, so we got this white dude, he's got an afro, he's going to dye it all these silly colors, he's going to get a bunch of terrible tattoos, talk about uh, gaming, now, I'm a gamer too, and uh, I, I love weed. And it's like, so he's hitting on all these things, and of course these guys are going to love, because that's, that, I that's, love the, gaming. that's the generation that's going to be into all that. And a, a guy that's 50, weed. like me... Like, I don't care about gaming or the weed or your atrocious tattoos. I definitely don't care about your afro with the rainbows and all that. I'm not into it. I'm not digging it. So, like, for me, it's really hard for me to get into his whole his whole thing. If you want to call it a gimmick or whatever it is, I'm sure he would say, no, this is just me or whatever. I don't know. Maybe it is, but I, I'm not super digging it. Uh, as far as his actual fighting, though, I like the way he fights. He's long, he's lanky, and he's in, for his like weight class, seven. which is 135 pounds, he's, a, he's 5'11", which is super tall for that weight class. Yeah. And he's got, so he's got the reach, yep. and so he's he's Very definitely uh, like streamlined his, the way he fights to his stand-up. And evidently, you know, from looking at this fight, I don't, Aljo just seems so off in this to me, which yeah. you could say that maybe he was off, or maybe O'Malley made him off, but like, you know, he's definitely working on his stand-up. You could actually tell that with the, the, with the Yon fight. With, as far as being his uh, takedown defense, I mean, yeah. it's hard getting down. And if he gets to where you can't take him down, that's going to be like uh, Chuck Liddell of old. You know, Chuck Liddell, you couldn't take him down, and so he just you you had to stand with him, and hands. he just yeah. whoop your ass. Yep. So that's, that's kind of the way I see him. Uh, I mean, he's an all right dude. I don't hate the dude or anything like that. Um, just not a personal fan. Yeah, just not a big fan. Uh, his fighting style is not, not bad though, and I do hope he whoops Cheeto. And then and that uh, dude does not shut up either. Yeah, I know yeah. Cheeto. He's, and oh yeah, the other shit. thing I want. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I think his his shit talking. I think is slightly better than like because it's not so over the top. His is yeah. a little. His is like a little under the radar the way he does. Sean or Cheeto. No, Sean, Sean O'Malley. The way he the way he does his like when he was talking about Cheeto and he was talking about like. Oh, I really gotta go fight this guy again. I mean, like he's so boring. He's so he's like the way he, he's not over the top the way uh, Connor is when he's when Connor's doing his yeah. little acting shit, yeah. <laughs> or, or where so. he's just going so out of pocket. Yeah, like yeah. Sean talks crap, but he's talking crap about the actual fight or like if somebody's popping off at the mouth about him personally. Yeah, then he'll take it personal. But Sean doesn't just go personal for no reason, which yeah. I respect that, like you said. Yeah. So. I've said all I needed to say. I think I have too. Young yeah. Lion, you've been, uh, the, you've been the, no, I'm, yeah. I'm great. Quietest. Yeah. No, yeah, I mean, I said everything I wanted to say about the whole thing. Is that they ended it good, and I think he's a great fighter. Mm-hmm. I just think that Aljo, the reason why Aljo lost this fight, straight up, is because Sean prepared for his takedowns, mm-hmm. and he was doing the side-to-side movements, and you were talking about his reach, so he just stayed right out of the shooting place. And what Aljo was trying to do even here was he was trying to expose Sean a little bit to get a leg. Mm-hmm. So he was trying to throw a couple punches to get in. See, I, when I watched the post uh, uh, presser, I, I think it was pretty telling uh, what both guys said. And where O'Malley said that like he had injured himself so he knew he couldn't wrestle. So he had to stay away from him and stay off the fence. Which he's gonna have, whether he was injured or not, he really had. He wasn't gonna out wrestle Aljo. No. Mm-hmm. So he had to do that regardless. Yeah. So his whole thing was, and I get trapped up there, keep you know lateral movement, keep moving around. And he was like saying that like it's gonna be. Bo- he actually said he actually said it in the in the post fight presser. Like it's gonna be boring until it's not. And then you had Aljo literally say how he how he literally uh, fell right into like his whole his whole game plan, which was like, he was out there that first round, he couldn't get anything off, couldn't get anything going, couldn't get the takedown, and he wanted to, he wanted to press him because he felt like it was being like a boring fight, and he wanted to get in there and do some damage, so he like overstepped his, uh, you know, as I say, you know, he got over his skis, you know what I mean? So mm-hmm. like, so he gets out there now, he's like, well, I'm just gonna go act this guy. Well, 
when you're five seven with your sixty something inch wrench uh, reach going against a five eleven dude that's got I don't know what seventy two inch yeah, you know like it's that. like you need to be careful about when you want to engage with that guy you know what I'm saying and he Aljo found out the hard way you know what I mean when he tried to press the action yeah. now if Aljo would have stayed with his just I'm, if it's boring it's boring but I'm gonna keep the, I'm gonna keep yep. what I'm doing and we're gonna see how this plays you out played outside could, of your game plan yeah it could have been a totally different fight but like he wanted to press the so action I feel like and, that's like the thing about Habib that even if the fight was boring. He was it still going to keep it boring it because, yeah, it you know, Even guys like Gaethje. Like yeah, Gaethje, yeah. Gaethje is one of those guys that tends to get people out of their game. And that's why Khabib was actually able to beat Gaethje mm-hmm. at what Gaethje usually does well. I always think about Ronda. You know, when Ronda mm-hmm. was at her, like, peak, yeah. she was great at the takedowns, but she was not a great striker. Yeah. And the first time she actually went against a striker and wasn't able to get consistent takedowns, mm-hmm. Holly Holm exposed her. Oh, yeah. And yes. then yep. she started taking, you know, Amanda Nunes. You know, Amanda Nunes got her, too. Like, that's one of the things is, like, Pops told it perfectly there because you have a game plan. Sean O'Malley's a striker. All Jermaine's a wrestler. Mm-hmm. If you get taken out of your game plan, you've got to be able to change. And if you're not able to do that, this is what happens. Yep. Yep. Which is, which is you have to give Sean O'Malley all the credit in the world because he's the challenger. The other guy's the champion. If anything, you know, you have to take the belt from the champion. Yep. The champion, Aljo's the one that should have stayed to his game plan. He's yep, just, yeah. okay, well, you're going to do this. We're going to do this for a couple rounds. Then. I'm the champ. But I'm going to eventually yeah, catch right? you, yep. pick you up, dump you on your head, and we're going to see how this goes. But instead, he's like, well, i got to press the axe. i got to press the axe. Mm-hmm. And, you know, he paid for it, so... <laughs> Agreed. Yeah. I completely agree. Young Lion, anything? You good? Not, no, I'm great. <laughs> All right. I really get it.